And just who in oblivion might you be, hmm? Another traveler on a life-changing pilgrimage of worship? Because so help me, with the mood I'm in right now, it will be life-changing. Good. I prefer to avoid spilling any more blood than is absolutely necessary. <laughs> Including mine. What a clumsy way of putting it. It was clearly self-defense. A contingent of Thalmor, led by none other than yours truly, set out on an inquisition to weed out Talos worship in Falkreath. When first we laid eyes on these backwoods savages, I, I thought it was only decent to question their purpose for being here. Agent Sanyan had a speech prepared and everything. He was only halfway through it when one of them struck him from behind and wrecked the whole thing! Oh gods no! I have a three strikes policy. One spell usually does the trick to paralyze the victim... <laughs> I mean, uh, convert. Agent Sanyan fell, and I resumed, in rather eloquent diction, the speech he failed to finish. One of those bastards mocked my dagger. It's been in the family for generations. So I put it to good use and carved out his heart and showed it to the lot of them before eventually killing them all. <laughs> like I said, clearly self-defense. And you have a strange definition of decent attire. What, with a drab outfit like that, you must have pieced it together by looting the bodies you've slain. No decency. No decency at all. And you have the gall to call me a monster. Bah! <coughs> Gods. <coughs> yes. It's... <coughs> it's just a flesh wound. I live. These heretics put up a good fight. I'll give them that. The priest cut me pretty deep. <sighs> Once the shock wears off, I'll be able to heal myself. Listen here, you little worm. I survived the Great War. I can survive a simple knife wound. I hope. Waiting to loot my... Help me. For God's sake, why? Persistent, aren't you? You do realize you'll be aiding a member of the Thalmor, right? No doubt the people of Skyrim would prefer to see us all dead. That is the most naive thing I have heard since Sindarian ventured off into Blackreach and said... Oh, shopkeep. Two dozen of your finest nern root, please. Spoiler alert, he was killed. Gruesomely. The moment I'm healed, what makes you so certain you won't suffer the same fate? Oh, <laughs> now that's the spirit. I had a feeling you were a feisty one. I like that. Very well. I will cooperate. For now. Whoa. Amber is the color of your energy. Whoa. 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 You again. Ah, that's much better. Well, uh, I. Thank you. So, uh, as it turns out, I really haven't got much in terms of a reward right now, but... I can offer you the pleasure of my company. I think you'll find that having a member of the Thalmor in your pocket could be quite beneficial. And if your first thoughts are, this dashing nerd is going to betray me at the first opportunity, then... You're sharper than you look. 
I know why I was sent to accompany Sanyan. I was expected to die here. And then you came along and changed that. So, in words you so eloquently spoke but a moment ago, why not? Any number of reasons, really. Could be my brash attitude, my candid inability to hold my tongue, or my insatiable lust for life and, uh, well, people. There is no court-martial where I came from, no honorable discharge. One does not simply leave the Thalmor, except in a box. Elinwyn expects those of us sent to Skyrim to shine in her own image, to make her look good. Apparently, I didn't make the cut. <laughs> if I return to the Thalmor, she'll likely send me on another suicide mission until I'm dead. So, why not humor her? She gets the last laugh, and you get a handsome new companion at your side. I'm insulted. I am always on my best behavior. Depending on your point of view, that is. Now then, shall we away? Well, when you put it that way, how can I refuse?